question came up the other day on putting an hour meter on these uh, Bolins or saddle tractors with the that don't have hour meters on them and uh, one example of doing this or this is just a cheap hour meter kind of looks like a copy off of some of those uh, heavier duty ones you might see on bigger equipment it's all plastic so it's not real heavy duty but looks okay um, it says it uh, will take AC or DC input 6 to 80 volts if you do put DC pluses on on the right uh, ground is on the left so uh, got one installed on here um, and I just put it over here just because it's kind of big and I didn't want to cut holes on the side of this or, or mount another bracket there um, if I was using it as a RPM gauge or if I had one that was an RPM gauge obviously I'd want it up there where I could see it but now a meter doesn't really matter as much um, anyway on these alternators there's a there's a, basically uh, four different uh, points of uh, that you can connect into and the one you're interested in is the end or what I'm going to call the neutral line and when that's operating correctly it should be about half the system voltage which if the alternator is charging should be about seven volts so it's enough to run this it's a half I believe that's a half rectified wave so it's a pulse DC um, and then uh, of course your other ones just hooked to ground that could be any ground on here I just chose to put it on where the condenser is not sure why these needed condensers for radio interference but maybe someday I'll get a radio installed but anyway uh, just take a quick look at this so this what's nice about this is it'll only operate the meter when the when the engines running um, as you can see we have essentially no voltage on that right now I'll go ahead and start it up and we should have about seven volts I just had you running and I thought you'd start right back up but engines are a little cold-blooded they like to have glow, glow plugs all the time and so we'll give it a quick 10 second here so as you can see we uh, were running around seven and a half or a little over seven volts it's enough to make the meter work and um, Thing else I want to show you I'll shut that off is a little bit noisy if you look uh, you can also get frequency off of this too which is that it's essentially these alternators have three uh, fields in them and as the as the um, rotor goes by you will get a that generates a, a pulse of course and then that's measured so that was reading about two two thousand uh, Hertz or two kilohertz and um, so if you divide that by three fields um, you're looking at around 666 Hertz uh, which that depends on the speed that the belt is going so you have to relate that to the crankshaft speed but the point is is you can get frequency on there and then back calculate and get an engine frequency so but the more of the point of this is just show how you can hook up a fast hour meter and uh you know maybe maybe you'd even want to get one of the small square ones they have on ebay too plastic ones that way you can cut a square hole out here and put it up here as well or uh or even into the one of these side panels if you want to go that route so uh just thought i'd share this for those looking to put hour meters on these because it's really hard to keep track of the hours uh just by by memory so hope it helps one of you guys thanks for watching